Oh, baby girl, they look good. They look good. It's Jeff and Jeremy in the morning on 93.3 KZOZ. Uh, we're asking you to uh, jump over to our, uh, our website. Brand new website, by the way. And, uh, and, right and split. do that. Yeah, it looks like uh, 42% of people say no. But uh, what's it, 28 and 28, it's going to be uh, 56% of people say uh, yeah. Well, that's not true. One of them is, I guess, not, not sure. Not sure, which is like, you're, uh, and flip and a coin. I got to be honest with you. I'm not, I'm not entirely sure. I don't know. Like I, I, I see, I see the merit in taking care of an animal that has killed a human, but then also the circumstances are the human goes into their territory, the human signing up for you know whatever might be the outcome of that encounter. So what? Well, because there's a sign that says there's bears in the area. Yes, absolutely. That's it. Okay, no, so like like once you once you see that sign, you right. have made right. a commitment to the risk. The risk that okay, yeah. there are bears in this area. If I'm going to go back to sleep after I hear a bear rustling in the woods, then I know that there's a chance my life could be taken. Unless that person unless you're prepared. True. That person could have once they heard the rustling around in the in the in the, in the woods, because if you weren't with us earlier, the story was this woman was killed by a bear in Montana. Um, they uh, heard some rustling around in the woods, decided to pack up their stuff, which they had left out, and make it bear safe, and then laid back down and went to sleep. And when the bear couldn't eat their tuna sandwiches and, uh, yeah. and potato salad, should have left the stuff to, out. Actually, yeah, should have went right for the tent. Should have left the I'm stuff sorry out. to laugh because this this poor woman died. And you said in the story that the bear pulled her out of her tent. Mm-hmm. I don't know how he did that. And then must the have, people that were with her a zipper. sprayed uh, the bear with uh, bear There's repellent, that. and the bear uh, wandered off. But then she succumbed to the injuries, yeah. and uh, it was pronounced dead. Um, but she and her party made they signed up for that they signed up for it it's like we do this all the time with athletes right Mm -hmm. athletes they're like uh, they they start to gripe and complain about um the conditions of their playing or the fact that you know um their bosses make billions and they make millions and we're like oh how can anybody complain about making millions they sign up for that we give we we automatically attack the athlete who is complaining because he's making millions and not enough millions because the people that run the organization are making billions on their on the backs of their millions and we automatically attack the athletes we're like oh my gosh you knew what you signed up for part of the game man up and deal with it why aren't we the same way with the people that wander out into the woods and they're killed by the animals? Well, we I mean, we got to go point. after the animals. We're not killing the owners of the uh, NFL franchises. You got to realize in the animal world, there is no repercussions in you know, their mind. They're just, you know, they're living their life. They don't understand that they could be it's shot. It's nature. They don't understand there's that no, there's rules. There's no, uh, there is no rules. There's no it's politics survival of the fittest. It. Right. But at the same time, you know, if the park service and uh, if they want people to go and frequent these parks and be out there, they want to make people feel like they are safe. So. And that's where the politics come in, comes into play. There you go. So anyways, you can let us know what you think. I think um, we humanize that. I don't know. I'm kind of I'm kind of now in a not sure position. I, I am. I've I was kind of like, yeah, I, you got to take the bear down. I've always or the cougar been in down. a not. I mean, yeah. And initially, the same your time, gut reaction. And if this was my mother, I'd probably be like, yeah, I want I want that bear uh, taken care of. But it wasn't my mother, so I am standing on the outside looking in, and I'm like, I don't know. It's like the great white shark, right? Twisted Glaze fan writes, and he says he goes certainly gets hit by a great white shark. They don't go out and try to kill the shark, do they? I don't think so. I don't, well, I don't think you would be even be able to find him. But. but I think it's because, yeah, we can't. So <laughs> here's the deal. We don't have the methods and the, and, and, the, and the technology to do so. We do for the bear. Poor bear. I, you will not catch me in the wilderness in a situation like that without a firearm. Right. I'm going to make that decision. I'm not going to wait for somebody to go track it down and kill it. I'm going to make sure I'm protected.
and hopefully, you know, but people go into the woods all the time. They don't, like you said, they left all their food out and then they heard a bear and then they put it away. Well, it drew the bear in. So. Yeah, the bear knew that there was something there. Gotta do a little research. Gotta know what and who knows? I don't know what the bear's vision's like. Who knows? Maybe he thought he was grabbing some food. <laughs> We've never seen through the eyes of yeah. a bear. Yeah, I could. You can't ask the bear now. I, um, um, it's, oh, I, I know this. Oh, oh, oh. Jeff and Jeremy in the morning on 93.3 KZOC. Yeah, baby.